When we create a lesson, we teach the lesson with the finest teachers we can find. We give them a lot of different takes if they need it or retakes. We edit, we film, we do everything we can to enhance and optimize it. But then we have our vectored instruction team come in and they analyze that lesson and they, they identify every single thing that they can that a student would have to know to succeed in the lesson. And of course, these are things that we hope the students already know. But if they don't, and we find out the students are struggling with this lesson, then it kicks them into vectored instruction. Some of you know about that because it says, hi, welcome to vectored instruction. And what Acellus does then is it goes back and teaches you the things that you need to know to do this lesson things that you may have even been exposed to a year before, or maybe you were moving and you didn't, maybe you missed this lesson, but it goes back and it gets them and recovers that knowledge or, or it teaches the students so they can go forward. If they still can't go forward, then we go back even further and we get into actually a level we call foundation building. This is one of the big reasons why Acellus is very, very effective. Um, I, I really want everyone to realize that using Acellus that you have an amazing tool and a lot of effort has gone into making it just right. So if this represents a lesson, in order for her to be able to get the student to go through the lesson and end up in the graduation, she's been practicing all day. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard. Do you think she can do it twice? Mm -hmm. She made it once, she missed it once, she's missed it twice. Let's saying. give her one more chance and see if she can help this student graduate twice. Here we go. Nope. Come on, one more chance. <laughs> oh, wow. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard to create lessons that will work like that. But, if you launch the student correctly, uh -huh. precisely, if you have the lessons oriented just right, then magic happens. I'd like to have you watch this little video. All right, I have a demonstration, like I say, I want to show you. Okay. Now you notice that I've got a bunch of students lined up here in my little class. Uh -huh. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, one at a time, bring them into Cellus. Think of this as the Cellus learning system or Cellus lesson. Okay. They're going to encounter that lesson and hopefully our amazing experts and teachers will have crafted the lesson so that it receives them just right mm -hmm. and it'll give them the information they need and then they'll move on to the next step. Right. Would you like to see how it works? Okay, I'm gonna send the first student in, watch. <laughs> this also is amazing. So just imagine, these are all the lessons that they have to go through, and, and these little uh, marbles are the students, and they have to come in and learn this one so they can get to that one. When they learn that, they go to that one. And if everything goes exactly right, should we try it again? Then they end up graduating. Okay, here we go. <laughs> amazing. What do you think? Looks kind of easy, but literally you have to have every single one of these lessons concocted just right, twisted just right, got the background, doesn't put them to sleep because they know it. It's really fun. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's not in a straight line. That's just, wow. Let me go again. Okay. Ta-da. <laughs> These students are doing really well. And everybody passed. What that do you think? That is so cool. I just had a realization. Oh, yeah? What if one of our competing learning technologies is watching tonight? <laughs> well, what? Well? Well, we want to make sure they get it. 
We do, yeah, that's true. We do. Maybe we should show them in slow motion. Oh, I think we should. So they'll see exactly how we do. Okay, let's see this in slow motion, please. Here we go. Boom. Oh. There we go. There we go. Watch it. Oh. Cool.